welcome to or welcome back to Auntie's Cakery. I had some recommendations from you guys to show more of my cakes. And I own a business so I do all sorts of cakes. And this is one of the wedding cakes I've created. It's got those beautiful rose rosettes on the bottom and the rusted buttercream textured on the top with these little pearl beads. It turned out really beautiful and I can't wait to see it with this topper on. I've already stacked, filled, and crumb coat an 8 inch round tier. Now with American buttercream I'll do a final coat and smooth it out with my bench scraper. I have a couple little spots there that I need to fill in. Just put a little extra icing in there and wipe it off. Over here I have a mug of hot water and I'm soaking my large spatula in it. Then with my warm spatula, I'll just swoop the buttercream just like this. And I'll do a second row, slightly overlapping the first. Kind of like a little U shape, fish scales or mermaid scales. And I choose to use a warm spatula because it melts the buttercream just enough to smooth out those little bubbles. It's pretty simple. I'll just do that all around the cake. Now I'll do the top, still little semicircles all the way around. I use straws as supports. You always want to support your cakes so the top cakes do not fall in on the bottom cakes. This is an 8 inch round cake and I'm going to do the design on the top of this one first and then I'll work down the sides just as I did on the 10 inch. I'm going to smooth out those ends just a little bit so it doesn't look so rough. Then using a number 1M large star tip and some beautiful light pink icing, I'll pipe large, medium, and small rosettes all over the 12 inch cake. I'm just placing them randomly. I did not have any pre-planned space for each rosette. I like how it looks hanging over the edge there. Once I've got all those large, medium, and small rosettes piped, I'll just pipe little stars in between to fill in all the little gaps. Not forgetting to do the top also. And again, I've inserted straws as supports. And I'm using another straw to push it all the way down. 
some buttercream to stick on this next cake. This 10 inch tear has been chilling in the fridge, so it's quite easy to handle and push it around if I need to. That actually looks pretty good. And now that I have it stacked, I'm going to add a bead border. You can find fondant molds with bead design, but since this was a buttercream cake, I didn't really want to put fondant on it, so I'm using real beads. A little layer of icing there so I can stick the beads on. And I'm trying different methods of putting these beads on because let me tell you, it's kind of tedious. First I tried one by one and that took forever. And now I'm just trying to put a few in my hand. And that's working okay. I have to fill in a lot of gaps. But it's much quicker than one by one. And if any of you have an idea of how to put these on quicker, I would love to hear it. Stack on that eight inch tier. And do the same. I just finished putting the final details on the cake and now I'm going to take it to the venue, set it up, put on a topper. I can't wait to see what it looks like with a topper on it. Thanks for watching me create this beautiful buttercream cake. I invite you to subscribe and leave me a comment. Bye! Hey! Do you have a question specifically for me? It would be my pleasure to answer you the best I can with the knowledge I have. So down in the description box you will find a link where you can ask me your questions and I will answer you in a video just like this. Just me and you, one on one. So go ahead and click that, ask me your questions. I'm really excited to help you learn more. Bye.